Okay. Let me try something on the boat. There is a container filled with water. So this is water. Now, there is a, a plastic bottle which is close to the cap. Now what you have to do, you just press the plastic bottle towards down. Apply the force towards downwards. Then what happens? Yes, the plastic bottle goes inside the water. It's going. Then if you release the ball, release your force, or if you remove your hand from the bottle, what happens? Immediately, the bottle comes to surface of the water. Just like something applied some force from downwards so that the bottle goes into the surface of the water. Repeat again. You press it and re release it. Again, the bottle comes up. Why it is happening like that? It is because some force is there in the water and that force acting in the upward direction and acting on the bottle making it to come on the surface of the water. Right? And it is true for so many other types of liquids also. What is that force? And that force named as beyond force. You can also say a beyond force. So beyond force is upward force in liquids. Is upward force in liquids. How much force you apply in downward? If release your force, automatic bottle comes up because of this beyond force or upward force in liquids. Does this force acting on different parts of the tube of the bottle? Different parts of the bottle means let me draw a diagram here. I will show you, I will show you here. So this is the bottle inside the water same bottle when force is applied you know the force applied like this it's in every part of the bottle so in physics what we do instead of saying part i will say the force applied on some area some of the area of the bottle then it is easy to explain that how much of force is applied on the bottle instead of telling the force applied to hold the bottle I will say the force applied on some part of the area of the bottle and the force acting on the part of the area or force acting on unit area is called pressure. So now we have to discuss about what is pressure and what are the advantages of pressure with respect to force and area. Pressure. I told that. Pressure is nothing but force acting on unit area. Unit area means area value equal to 1, 1 unit. It may be 1 millimeter square, or it may be 1 meter square, or it may be 1 centimeter square. That is called unit area, it is equal to 1. Okay, so pressure is the force per unit area. Now let us see the units of pressure. CGS unit, if you take, force unit is dynes by area unit is centimeter square. So, dynes per centimeter square. If you take SI unit, which is widely used in physics, force unit is Newton, area unit is meter square. So, Newton per meter square. And you know, Newton per meter square is also called Pascal. Pascal is a scientist name. So, his name is taken as a unit for the pressure. So, 1 Newton by 1 meter square is nothing but equal to 1 Pascal. So, <laughs> either you can use Newton per meter square or you can use Pascal as a unit, no problem. Okay, let us, how do you apply this pressure formula in real time situations? Let us see some examples. There is a block whose dimensions are 1 meter, 0 0.5 meters. This is the dimensions of the block. Right. Now, I have applied a force F equal to 2 Newtons. I asked, what is the pressure applied 
on the block right so pressure p equal to force by area you know force value but you don't know area value so you have to calculate the dimensions given 1 meter 0 0.5 meter it is a rectangle so area is length into breadth so force is 2 newton by area is 1 meter into 0 0.5 meter how much this is 2 newton by 1 into 0 0.5 0 0.5 meter square then how much this is 4 newton per meter square or you can also write 4 pascals so that is the pressure applied by that force so understand that how to apply a pressure formula in the numericals so pressure p equal to f by a now see another example numerical to understand more about application of pressure so what happened here there is a ball like this and whose area a equals to 2 meter square and this ball experiencing a pressure p equals to 10 pascals now I ask you that what is the force what is the force acting on the ball now you know that pressure p equal to f by a but you are we ask you to find force so take a to the left hand side then you'll get force equal to pressure into area so pressure is 10 pascals area is 2 meter square so the force is 20 newton and that you also can apply yeah so understand how to apply in in numericals now this is another great advantage of pressure in this formula if i say that f equal to constant f equal to constant then i can say that p is inversely proportional to area very important relationship in applications inversely proportional means when area increases pressure decreases when area decreases pressure increases and what is the advantage of this inversely proportional relationship take example of uh, board pins board pins looks like this is also called thumb pins one side the surface is wide the other side it is very sharp generally thumb pins or board pins used for keeping the notices on the notice board they keep the sheet notice sheet, notice paper and they will press the thumb pin so that it goes into the notice board now if you, if you see carefully this one here this wider area area is large more area and more area what happened to pressure you have to press with your thumb so the pressure applied will become very less so you are applying very less pressure because of broader area but coming to this part here the area is very very small because the area is very very small what happened to pressure pressure will be large that's why even you're applying the small force even you're applying the small pressure on the boat pin automatically it appears into the boat take another example this is the first example the second example if you see the trucks which are moving on the roads heavy loaded trucks or you can see the buses also on the front side you can have two wheels only but the back side you have two two which are called rear wheels two two four wheels you have so why they will keep four wheels there because on the back side huge amount of load applied on the tires huge amount of load means huge force so because of more force more pressure to experiences so you have to reduce the pressure if not there may there may it causes an accident so to reduce the pressure on the back side they will increase the area of the surface of the tires so more tires you are keeping on the back side means more area you're creating because of more area pressure will be less so pressure acting on the rear side will be less similarly take the school bags the school bags strips wider strips if you see so if you have if you put the school bag on your shoulder with the strips but the the part of the strip which is coming on your shoulder the strip has wider surface of course after that it it will be less like this but on the shoulder with the part you keep is wider 
because of wider surface what is the advantage area is large because of area is large the pressure will be less so that you will feel less pressure on your shoulder